Throughout this unit, we've been focusing on reasoning and the need for advanced thinking to function in this advanced world. Often our learning can be described as surface or shallow learning. Of course, a strong foundation of basic knowledge is important, but at some point, deeper understanding needs to be explored and practiced. This is important for our success today as we keep adding layers of complexity to our world. We need to make connections and evaluate situations and to understand patterns well enough to make informed decisions. As we explore, we see many things are interconnected and one decision can often set off a series of events, like falling dominoes. Of course, it is our inductive reasoning skills that will help us evaluate the patterns. The conjectures we form will guide our decision making. We also use general logic to show how many things are interconnected. The task in the learning guide for this section challenges you to make connections and dive deeper into your thinking. We'll use the global pandemic caused by COVID-19 as an example of what this type of thinking might look like. Then you will pick a topic to try on your own. Consider starting with a broad perspective. Since our so-called intelligence has allowed us to have so much control over the planet, things not quite going our way can be quite unnerving and inconvenient. We've also witnessed that our mobility is unwittingly giving these types of invisible threats global access. In some ways, COVID has brought out the best in us, uniting the planet against a common enemy, as viruses don't respect boundaries. But it has also brought out some of the worst. As soon as it became obvious that the virus was unusual in spreading, the patterns of its movement were carefully tracked. News feeds shared endless data on the latest case numbers, hospitalizations, and deaths. Health officials frantically trying to interpret patterns of transmission to guide their decisions and our behavior, in form without alarming. When all else seemed to fail, having us locked down in our homes, distancing ourselves, was the directive. This had huge repercussions that will impact us for many years. We'll only consider a small sample of these impacts as this example goes very wide and deep. Here are a few of those outcomes. Travel was halted. Planes are grounded. Cruise ships sit idle. And hotels are empty. The stocks in those companies nosedive. People stop going to work which means they stop driving. Oil prices plummet and even go negative for the first time ever. With the economy shutting down, stock markets crash. Governments quickly start borrowing money to hand out to people stuck at home, raking up huge deficits we'll be saddled with for years. We stop going out. Religious, cultural, and sporting events are suspended. Restaurants and theaters shut down. The Cineplex stock tumbles. However, as we keep digging, we find it isn't all bad. Our imprisonment from the invisible enemy was a windfall for many. Bike and RV sales jumped as everyone tried to safely get outside. As planes were grounded and cars were idled, online activities took off. Amazon, Shopify, Zoom, and the like were thrust into the spotlight. Homes we were captive in got updates, and governments forced to drop lending rates triggered a new home buying frenzy. The air got cleaner, and cars collided with less frequency. Gaming and binge watching increased dramatically. Popcorn was hard to find. We all became bakers. Delivery services expanded. Some careful evaluation of these trends could have been quite lucrative as an investor. For example, cleaning suppliers or drug companies racing to find vaccines. Although it is often hard to predict what will be deemed critical in a crisis. This example could go much further, but hopefully you get the gist and are ready to give this a try. Using your own example, or one given in the learning guide, demonstrate you can use trends and patterns to make projections 
and connect ideas together. To make this exercise valuable, you need to employ many of the skills you've been working on in this unit. You are trying to evaluate a trend and consider as many possible outcomes as you can. Consider the big picture and perhaps the winners and losers connected to the trend you choose and how you think your future may be impacted. Focus on your thoughts and ideas and try to extend your thinking as widely and deeply as you can.